I'm here with Gord Harms and he's going to set up our water rain filtration project. It's rainwater to drinking water. Gord, thanks for being here. What are you going to make here? What are you going to do? Well, what we're going to do is take the rainwater that comes off of the roof of your uh, building and goes into a cistern and we're going to put it through this uh, reverse osmosis and UV filtration system and we're going to purify it so that it's uh, perfectly safe to drink. And where is it going to go once it's through the system? How, how is it going to go? How is it going to come through? Yeah, Just what, what's briefly. What's going to happen is we're going to take it from the cistern and we're going to put it through uh, several pre-filters. We're going to put it through a sediment filter first and foremost just to remove the suspended materials that might uh, be in the, the tank. Then it's going to go through a couple of carbon filters to get rid of any organic and odor materials. From there it's going to go through a reverse osmosis system. This is a way of purifying the water, getting rid of any uh, cryptosporidia, uh, giardia cysts, and it'll achieve a four log reduction in any microbiological content. So that basically uh, purifies the water so that it's safe to drink. From there, then it also goes through a secondary ultraviolet uh, sterilizer, and that's also capable of removing any bacterial uh, contamination. So it's a double cleansing system. You usually yeah. only use one? You can use only one. Yeah. Typically, it's, it's much safer to have the redundancy of using both. Right. Both function a little bit differently, but ultimately they both purify the water. And then we move it, finally the rainwater will go into this into, container. Into a pressurized storage tank just so you've got some residual capacity. And from there it goes off to a tap. Thank you, Gord. We'll see you later on this project. Thank you.